Why don't we have you spin our spinner, and that way we'll know which direction to go. West. And for a distance. How far are you planning on walking today? Oh, we're just going to walk home, so just over to 7500 South. That's six blocks away, so that's how far we went. I don't know. They just show up at the door. While Kiria Martinez couldn't believe we knocked on her door, we couldn't believe her story. I grew up really fast. My childhood was ripped off like that. She was born in Nicaragua to a mother who didn't want her. When I was born, then she used to leave me locked inside of a room and go party. She was rescued by her grandfather, who was alerted by neighbors. And get that door broke down so they can get me. At two months old, she was starving and covered in feces. Her great-grandmother raised her. She just gave me love as much as she could give me. And when Walkiria was a teen, she found herself in the middle of a bloody war. When we hear the plane coming, throwing barrels of gasoline or, or, or oil and fire, so it burns everything, I see all my friends, almost all of them killed. At 15, she was pregnant. Three years later, she gave up her daughter, Martelena, for adoption. I thought that I lost something of myself. She met a man, fell in love, and had two children. Then for seven years endured brutal abuse. He got a bottle of beer, and he broke the bottle of beer, told me that he was going to kill me. So he proceeded to stop me. They fled the war and ended up in Guatemala, where he fell in love with another woman and kicked Walkiria out on the street. And left me just dry with the close up my back. That's it. She had two children and was pregnant with another. That's when she saw a bridge and decided life wasn't worth living. I decided let's jump. She planned to take her two children with her. It has these metal things like that. And so I started going up. And from nowhere this bump came. It was like a bomb though people in the street, you know. While Kiria says the man just started asking her questions. What do you want to do this for? Look at your children. Look at their faces. Do you think that you're going to deprive them for life because of something happened to you? She decided her kids did deserve a future and came down from the bridge. I was going to go and hug him and say thank you and I look. He was gone. She says the man simply vanished. I think that God sent him. While Kiria then contacted her mother, who by then was living in Utah, the same mother who years earlier abandoned her, but this time she was willing to help. I'll wait for you in California for three days. If you make it, you'll make it. If you can, then you go on your own. While Kiria made it to Mexico, then paid a man to smuggle her across the border. We went there running all night long. She came to Utah to live and once again suffered abuse, this time at the hands of her mother. And then to make me worse, start beating up my children, make them bleed in the back with a belt. Her mother eventually kicked her out and she ended up as a nanny for a man named Larry Martinez. And it worked out pretty good. Five years later, we got married. Combined, they have seven kids with one son in the Navy and a daughter in the Air Force. I never thought that I was gonna be like my mother. I knew I was going to be a good mom. And she still keeps in touch with her daughter in Nicaragua. You can go through hard times in your life and it still can come out on the other side of the tunnel. She says her life is so great now, she feels like she's won the lottery. If doors will close, a little window will open somewhere. She credits her survival to her great-grandmother. I think she's a part of me. She lives in me. While Kiria uses a simple analogy to sum up her amazing life. Like it was like a little leaf that the wind was taking it like that, you know. And finally came to a rest somewhere.